I want to show you how you can go ahead and bring in an image and how you can bring in a document that's new to the LMS and how you can link all those together so that they can be um, set up as a download. So we already have the submission form. What we want to do is create a verification form. If you look at all the files that you were given, there is one called Automation Control In-Class Verification that was missed being put into the LMS. If you look at that actual document itself, all it is is the form that the participants are supposed to go through to document um, the step-by-step -step activities that they're supposed to do for the test bed. So I want to bring that activity into the LMS and then I want to get it as a download that's easily found by the participants so they can download it. So first thing I want to do is I want to bring in an image that I can use um, for them to click on and then I want to make sure that I bring in the document as well. So I'll go to my files. I'll go ahead and say upload. There's a bunch of different ways to do it. I could have also done it on that other page. But I'm going to go ahead and upload the verification form. But I want to make sure that I'm bringing it into the right folder. So if I have this folder open, when I say upload, then it will automatically upload to that folder and I won't have to move it. Okay, it says I already have it in there. I'm just going to go ahead and say replace. So I'll scroll down and make sure that I have that image. So I now have one right underneath there that said Submission Form button. I now have one that says Verification Form. Okay, I also want to bring in the actual activity itself. So I click on that folder and I say Upload. I just happen to have it sitting on my desktop. It's the updated 7-7-2016. And now that file is now inside my files. So I can now go back to my modules. I'm going to go to the module that I want to edit, which is Automation and Control. And I'm going to come up to Edits. Once I select Edit, it will step into um, a quick editor to be able to edit the web page that's here. Um, I'm going to go down to where it says submission form and I'm going to space over a couple of times and I'm going to put my other image right here. I can put it below or I can put whatever I want it to be. Um, you could also put it down a little bit below um, if you wanted to put it with the creation of the test bed. So if you wanted it to be with part three, you could put it down there with part three. I'm just going to put it up here at the top. So over here it says insert content into the page. So I'm going to go to images. And this is another location where you could have said upload new image. I'm going to scroll down to where it is. So here is my verification form. Um, it comes in just a little bit large compared to theirs, uh, the existing ones. So I'm going to scale that down just a little bit until they look more appropriate in size to each other. So just a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight it. As long as I have it highlighted, it's going to go ahead and bring in the file that I want to this specific image. So I'm going to come over to my files. So insert content into page, files. Go ahead and click on my course files. I know I placed it in my submission forms for CT. And I want to find the one that says verification. Automation control in class verification updated 7 7 2016. That's the one I just brought in. And once I click it, you should see this turn a brighter blue. It now has a link attached to it. And I can also see up here that it now has a link attached to that specific file. So, biggest thing is make sure you come down here to the bottom and make sure you select save. If you don't select save, it won't record that into the actual web page itself. So, when I hit save, it should now show that I have my verification form. If I highlight it or move my mouse over to it, it changes in the little hand. And I want to test it to make sure that it's going to work. So I click on it. It should bring that down to me. And as I open it, it should open up as Assignment 3 Automation and Control.